Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Marie and I'm a South African living in Singapore for the past six years now and I make videos about life in Singapore and I share some tips and advice and hopefully it helps you on your journey in terms of maybe you're curious about life in Singapore or perhaps you're thinking about moving to Singapore. So I hope my videos help you in some sort of way. So as I've been mentioning the past few weeks, I launched my website on the 5th of October on Tuesday this week. So if you haven't yet checked out my website, please check it out. The link is down in the description box below and it is all about life in Singapore, sharing tips, advice, and it's also a place where I will expand a little bit more on my solo traveling experience as a female. Now, I've been making a few videos the past few weeks about all the amazing things in Singapore, things I wish I knew before moving here. I think everyone knows <laughs> if you are not new here, how much I love living in Singapore and how much I have been enjoying my time here. You would think that there's not much more I can share about what makes Singapore so amazing, but there is. Today I'm gonna to be sharing 14 amazing things about Singapore. Now, I fell in love with Singapore when I first visited Singapore about 10, oh, actually exactly 10 years ago. I first visited Singapore in June of 2011. Oh, that's 10 years ago. Oh gosh, where has the time gone? Uh, yes, well, I fell in love with Singapore when I first visited Singapore. I was really in awe with everything here, the buildings, how it was laid out, it kind of felt like I was in some sort of utopia. It was completely different from what I'm used to in South Africa. And I was just amazed because none of the other countries that I've ever traveled to was so clean, so efficient. And it just felt like everything was in its right place. Now, here are my 14 amazing things about Singapore. And the first thing I'm gonna start with is hawker centers. Hawker centers are absolutely amazing. It is a place where people connect, get together, share food, and just enjoy their time together. Definitely, when you come to Singapore, you have to go to a hawker center. At first, I remember when I first saw a hawker center, I was really taken aback by it. I didn't really know what it was or if it was safe to eat the food there or if it was clean. But it really is amazing because you get a table and you order food from different stalls and they bring it to your table and you just have a feast. And yes, it's clean. And yes, it is delicious. And yes, it is safe to eat there. The second amazing thing in Singapore is the transportation costs. I don't think anywhere in the world do you get such an efficient transport system for the price that you pay in Singapore. It is really, really effective and really reliable. And also bonus, there's aircon in the MRT. In Singapore, it's about $1.30 for a train ride, depending on how far you go, where you go, and it is clean, it's efficient, and you have aircon. And the tr buses as well. And there's constantly buses coming every 10 minutes, so you never really have to wait a long time either. And for taxis, there's Comfort Delgro, and there's Grab that you can choose from, and Gojek. So you have a few options. Getting from point A to point B, super easy and affordable in Singapore. Now, another thing like I've briefly mentioned is Singapore is always changing. The amazing thing about it is how Singapore plans its city, the layout, where things need to be, and how they think about the things that they do. So now also, most walkways are covered. There's paths you can take and walk right around the island. Everything is well thought through in Singapore. Number four, Changi Airport. Uh, I cannot make this list without mentioning the airport of Singapore. It is amazing. Absolutely amazing. There's no airport like Changi Airport in the whole world. Not one airport that I've traveled to I can top Changi Airport. And it has topped the list of the best airport in the world for many, many years. I think except last year because of the pandemic, there was different ways that they actually calculated the winner. But it is amazing. Like, just go on the Changi Airport website and you will see all the activities you can do during your layover. Oh, amazing. And they're currently building a Terminal 5 as well. So they're expanding. 
Number five are the pop stations. Now this is an amazing, brilliant idea. You can actually get your packages delivered at a pop station. If you're not at home or there's not someone to pick up your packages, you organize for it to be delivered in a certain state at a certain station where you can easily pick it up. Then they pop it into a locker and then give you a code and you can go and then get your delivery from the locker. I mean, that's so brilliant. Also, if you want to return something and you might not be home when they're going to come pick up the parcel, you can just leave it in a pop station locker and they will come and pick it up from there. Number seven, Singapore might be small, but they offer quite a variety of services, especially delivery services and it's so reliable. Delivery services are so convenient. There are so many to choose from as well. For a small island, Singapore offers a very big variety of convenience for delivery food, for food delivery and ordering online. The next thing is the IU unit that you pop at the front of your car or your motorbike and you actually it just scans you in. So whenever there's a toll gate or you have to pay ERP, it just, you top up your card and then it just scans it. So you don't have to physically take out a card and put it in or go make a cash payment at a payment machine. And I just remember in 2011 already they had that system and I got here and I was like, wow, that's so amazing. Now with parking, number nine, I know this might not be like a brilliant idea or something amazing that you might think that, but I think that is they reverse in they park reversed in. To park, people in Singapore, they don't just drive in and park, they reverse into the parking space. Now, I don't think this is the only country they do this in. I know they do that in Korea as well. But in South Africa, we just drive in and park and then when we leave, it's like a hassle trying to get out and you're trying to reverse out. And I was like, wow, this is actually such a great idea. <laughs> reverse park, who would have thought? Now, Singapore has a food culture. And like I said, I'm going to talk a little bit more about that next week. But I love the variety of food buffets available in Singapore. Wow. More so also, of course, before the pandemic. But wow, Singapore has such a wide variety and so many places offer buffets, hotels, restaurants where you just pay 30, 40, 50, 80 dollars and you can eat as much as you want and it's so normal. Now number 11 is Singapore is mostly cash free and this is amazing but also dangerous because now I'm just like yeah tap, yeah tap, 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 tap. And then you're like, whoops, 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 whoops. Uh, anyways, so yes, you just tap even to enter the bus, you tap. To go on the train, you tap. To buy your food, you tap. Except at hawker centers, there is still mostly cash. Another thing that makes Singapore absolutely amazing is that it is a green city. It's not just green in terms of like the trees and nature and sometimes it feels like you live in a jungle with buildings and it doesn't feel like you live in a city with trees, if that makes sense. But I'm sure you've heard of the trash island where Singapore recycles and they're actually building an island from the trash that they have recycled and burned. And Singapore is also very much focused on environmental stability. So they really think about how they can introduce this environment stability and teach students about it and teach the people about it and actually make changes so that the city can become more green and more sustainable in the future with less gas emissions, etc., etc. Now, just a fun one that I really like about Singapore is they were the first ones to open up the night safari. Night safari is the zoo and I really love the Singapore zoo. I'm not a real fan of zoos in general. I've been to some zoos where I actually cried and I was like, this is not right. But the Singapore zoo is, you have to experience it to believe it or understand it, where animal, animals actually roam free and it feels like you are in their habitat, not the other way around. And then also, Singapore was the first city to pioneer the F1 night race. So if you're a Formula One fan, if you're a Formula One fan, I'm sure Singapore is on your list or perhaps you've been to Singapore to watch the night race, which I have done 
many years ago it was quite exciting because there's artists performing every night and it's a real vibe you get the real energy from the cars and the rush so yeah those are some of the things that i think is totally amazing about singapore what other things do you think is amazing about singapore leave it down in the comment section below and i'll catch you there so thank you so much for watching till the end you're awesome remember to check out my website and i'll see you next week be good do good keep on smiling bye